Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a neuroscience PhD student in Berlin and I'm working with Honeybees. I'm a stipend in the fellow program Freies Wissen by the Wikimedia Foundation and the Stifterverband. Our aim is to involve more scientists in open science. Today I will show you a device I've built, this artificial flower that can train honeybees to a green light stimulus. And I will show you how it works. Okay, here is the opening of the feeding tube where the sucrose solution will be delivered when the green light is on. So the whole inner tube, the silicone tube, will be illuminated greenly and filled with the growth solution for the time I implemented. So now it's around 10 seconds. And when the 10 seconds are over, the green light will be switched off and the sucrose solution will be retracted in the tube so the honeybee cannot reach it. And this tube goes in here to the pump where it can be pumped either way, back or forth and ends in the reservoir where there's always enough sugar water for many, many tests so the system can run even over the weekend. So this is the motor control that controls the stepper motor under this pump. It's mainly an H-bridge that is connected to the Arduino that can let the motor move back and forth and stop in very small steps, highly uh, precisely. The Arduino is a microcontroller, it's an open source project that is nicely documented in the internet and you can quite easily, even without any previous knowledge about electronics, work with it and make it do all kinds of interesting things. And it controls mainly the motor and the sensors that know where the water level is and also the LEDs, it can turn them on and off. Inside the Arduino is also kind of a clock running to know when to start the feeding and when to stop. And that loops over and over so that the device runs until I power it off. Okay, here we have a dual op amp that is capable of measuring uh, voltage differences in the water. So it can actually measure if the water is on the very tip where there's also one of the thin wires ending and there's a contact or a delayed wire that's deeper in the tube is closing the circuit so the sugar reward is retracted a bit. So here I have a second Arduino. It's for measuring what is happening and storing it. This Arduino is connected to a SD card breakout board so it can save all the data. It is connected to the first Arduino to also measure the level of water and the state of the LED if it is on or not. That gets saved onto the SD card and also there is a capacitance sensor that uh, can measure the capacitance and by that the water amount in front of the sensor plate here. And since the B is containing a lot of water, this copper plate beneath the feeding tube can measure the attendance of bees. So when I connect the device to a battery, it immediately starts. And usually in the very beginning, it supplies water for the first 30 seconds and the green light is on for the first 30 th seconds. So if the machine dried up because I didn't use it for a little while, I'm sure that it will be pumped full completely. After this half minute, it will be turned off for around five minutes and then turned back on for half a minute. And then it will be switched off for five minutes and on for half a minute. I hope you liked it and it will help you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.